hello and welcome so in this video i'm going to connect our app with our database so i'm going to use nosql database where we store all the records like uh, which users uh, vote for which party like uh, kavyaj or xyz vote for congress bjp c so we will store that records in a database and after then we fetch that records and count who is the winner like see uh, which party have the maximum number is the winner okay according to this sample app okay so what we have to do we have to just uh, before this uh, make sure you have mongodb installed in your system if not please install it and also when uh, one gui for the mongodb that is that is known as what let me show you guys yes mongodb compass so you can also download it and it is also work like uh, Uh, GUI for a MongoDB. Let me show you guys how it's work. When you open it, uh, it will fetch some libraries, fetch some imports, and all the all the packages that use in this yeah plugins here. Yes. So once you open it, you will see all your MongoDB data there. Okay, yeah, like this. So this is the URL that you that used for connecting. Okay, so just close it. So before doing this section, make sure you have to think install your system that is MongoDB database, that is NoSQL database, and a MongoDB Compass software in your system. That is nothing but the UI for a MongoDB. Okay. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to need just install a one library that is coming in a Python for support for giving support in MongoDB, like a pip install. pi mongo okay so it will connect your database with python with ease yeah just click on enter as you can see that requirement already satisfied so i already downloaded it so i don't need to install it again so now import it like uh, yeah now import mongo client from pi mongo from pi mongo import yeah mongo client okay so this will Mongo client is a method that is formed in a Py Mongo used to connect your data, connect your script with the database. Okay, so for connecting with the Py Mongo, yeah, Mongo DB, what you have to do, you have to just pass the local host and the port number. So by default, the port number is two seven zero one seven. Okay, so how will how we connect this? Like uh, just take a name like a database, like a DB for database, and it will find. And what we have to do next, you have to just uh, use. Uh, hey, so before connecting, before connecting with the database, uh, we have to make a connection. For making connection, we just use the client as a variable. Uh, Spelling is correct. Yeah, this is correct. Okay. And just uh, if I just call the Mongo client module, like the Mongo client, and inside this, just provide the local host. That is your local host because we are not going to deploy this app. Okay. And after that, we have to just specify the port number. Okay, so port the by default port for MongoDB is like a two seven zero one seven. Okay, so save this and okay. So what you have to do next, you have to just minimize this and just open your MongoDB Compass software. Just so click on it. It will take some time and it will open. Okay, it is also open in one place. Yeah, yeah. This. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to just click on connect. Okay. So here we see all records. Okay. So as we are going to create the new database, so for that just click on click create database, and the database name like I'm going to create a database name like a user. And the records, the records. Okay, this is a database name, and inside that database, the collection name is. Uh, we have multiple collection. Collection is nothing but uh, like a table in a SQL database, and this is a NoSQL. So in this, uh, we say it as a collection in a MongoDB language. Okay, so in collection, we just use uh, an another name like uh, suppose uh, user details. user users vote okay users this for what okay just click on create database and once we click on it 
we can see our user record this is our database and just click on it this is our collection name okay so what we have to do next just go in our go inside our code and here we have to create our database like a db as a variable name after then we just specify the client and just use the dot sign and after then we have to use our database name so what is our database name let me check it out guys user records okay so this is our database name like users records right let me check the spelling is correct the user not a users okay yeah user records okay so and after then we have to connect our collection with this database so for that I'm going to use like a col that is nothing but the collection and this is basically a variable you can name as you want after then the db that is that have now client dot user record that is connected with the database and after then we just provide the collection name so what is our collection name users vote okay users and vote yeah i hope it's spelling is correct users vote yeah it's right okay so now we have a co connection with our database and this is our collection so now we can save our records inside this collection okay okay so now we have our collection ready we have our database ready now we have to add these inputs data in our database and what we are going to add in our database like a name age and the selection what is the selection means for which party you voted like uh, okay so as as uh, i would like to tell you guys that in mongodb we only store the database in a in a json format so when we come to the python like json is uh, quite similar to the dictionary so we are going to take input in the form of dictionary actually we are going to create a dictionary having all these value and we have to send all that value into that collection okay Okay, so let's get started. After this voting is yes, and so yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have name, we have age, and we have also have we have selection. Okay, so after this one, thanks, your response has been recorded. So before this, I'm going to create a dictionary name as records, and inside this, we are going to take three parameters, like uh, not a parameter, three values. Okay, okay. So first is a name. Uh, for that name, I'm going to use our name. So, what is our name variable? That is, yeah, just a name. Okay, so name. And after then, so what next? Uh, like age. Okay. And this is also age variable, I think. I guess. Yeah, it is age. Okay, correct. Okay, and uh, and uh, after then, this vote for vote for which party okay so vote for is a key and for that we are going to use selection as a value because yeah selection in inside selection we use a radio section we have three values are there and as we as we know guys in the radio we have to select only one value so okay so that value will become in a selection variable okay so just use selection with uh, like this okay selection so okay so now we our records has been ready and now we are going to add this record into our collection okay so for that there is a command like a what is the name of our collection that is co double l call this is our collection name just me just animate it okay yeah now after then I'm going to use a function insert one. The insert one function will insert a single value into the database in one time. So we are going to call it again and again. Insert one function and it will use what will go that as records. Yeah. Okay, the so records will go inside the collection. Yeah. Okay, now it will work. Yes, save it. 
and just try to run it. I hope it will run without any error. So what does it mean like Python sample or okay. yeah. So yeah, it's running. It it has been open in the web as a web page. Just input your name like uh, Alexa. And the age of the Alexa is what? Like a 19. Yeah. Click on submit. All details are correct. Just click and submit again. Or select your party. Suppose it, uh, she will select Congress. Okay. Just click on submit. Thank your response has been recorded. Uh, we don't. We, we, did not, we did not find any error. So means the data has been recorded in our database. Just click on users world. And this is the magic, guys. You can see the name as Alexa, age is 19, and the vote for Congress. Just try another one. Like a keep voting, just click on yes and enter your name. Suppose I'm going to use like uh, XYZ as a name. Just click on submit, and the age is 21. Just click on submit again. All details are correct. Yes, submit. And so, like, suppose I'm going to say AAAP. AAP. Just click on submit. Your thanks, your response has been recorded. You can see, guys, once you refresh it, yeah, as you can see, guys, name XYZ is 21 and the vote for off. Okay, so it's working fine. So that's how you store your data inside the database. Basically, no SQL database. You can also use SQL database uh, like uh, MySQL, PostgreSQL, but it will quite complex for this small app. Okay, so this is good because no SQL is using a lot in a, in a API section as well okay so I hope you like this and so yeah that's all about it and in the next video I will I'm going to tell you guys how can we fetch how can we fetch the numbers how can we fetch which party has the maximum votes and according to that we are going to decide the winner okay so thanks for watching this video if you found this helpful just thumbs up and share with your friends I will see you in the next video thank you